The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the in vitro integration activity of pre-integration complexes, or PICs, isolated from HIV-1-infected sub-T1 cells. This method will answer some of the key questions in HIV biology, specifically how certain host factors and viral factors, for example, viral capsid, plays a role in HIV-1 DNA integration. And doing so will help us design or identify novel targets for antiretroviral therapy. The main advantage of this method is that it requires a relatively small amount of the pre-integration complex or PIC preparation for measuring the integration activity in vitro. The implications of this technique can extend towards diagnosis as well as therapy of HIV-1 AIDS and this is because the earlier versions of this technique have been critical in the discovery of HIV-1 integrase inhibitors which are one of the major anti-HIV drugs in clinical use today. So this method can not only be used to understand HIV-1 integration but it can be also applied to study other retroviruses such as RSV and MLV. Demonstrating this protocol will be Dr. Muthu Kumar Balasubramaniam who is a postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory. To infect sub-T1 cells with HIV-1, in a BSL-2 lab, maintain sub-T1 cells between 1 and 2 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter in Roswell Park Memorial Institute, or RPMI medium, supplemented with 10% FBS and pen strep.